So in this video, we will launch an EMR cluster and then use Apache Hive to process data stored in a DynamoDB table. So to give you an overview, we are going to load data into our HDFS file system, create a EMR table and then load the data into DynamoDB and then query the DynamoDB table from Hive. So let's see how to do that. So I have created a cluster already, just like our clusters that we have created in the past. And I am going to SSH into my master node. And if you are not able to SSH, make sure your security group has SSH open for your IP address. So I'm going to SSH, open the terminal. SSH Hadoop add and then I'm going to SSH and so now I'm on my Hadoop master node. Now let's load some data into the Hadoop cluster but first of all I'm going to get the data so we are going to download this zip file which has the data and we are going to see what data it is. So I'm going to unzip the zip file so and the instructions are provided in this section for you and all the steps are provided so you can download and execute the steps yourself. So I'm going to unzip it. So now we have this file features.txt. So let's check this file. What is what is it inside this file? So basically this features.txt has this ID which is an identifier, unique identifier. And then it has a location, the type of the location, whether it's a island, spring, stream, bay, the state, and its latitude and longitude. So that's what basically it is, and the height in feet. So that's your location. And that's what it is inside this features.txt. So now let's start the hive command prompt. So I'm going to type hive and it will start our hive command prompt. So now we are in our hive command prompt, we are going to create a table to load our features.txt data into a hive table. So here is the table. So it's called hive features and we have feature ID, name, class, state, and latitude, longitude, and the feed. And the file is delimited by a new line and the fields are terminated by, as you can see over here, a pipe delimiter. So now let's load our features.txt data into our table. And all these commands again are available in the next section. So you can utilize that. So now our features.txt is loaded into this table hive features. So now what we are going to do is just run a query. So basically what we want is uh, we'll uh, specify a state and then the number of locations in that state in our database. So I'm going to run this query. So now it's uh, it, it has a lot it has launched a MapReduce job uh, and then it's applying the MapReduce process. So now you can see by state uh, all the United States where Connecticut has four locations, Georgia has seven and things like that. So we have all our locations and the total count available. So now let's copy this data into DynamoDB. So first of all, I am going to go to DynamoDB and we are going to cover DynamoDB in details in the DynamoDB section, but let's go to DynamoDB, create a table and let's give the table our name and let's call it features partition key would be id numeric and let's create the table now so the table is being created i'll go back go back to our terminal now we need to establish a mapping between hive and features table in dynamodb so let's run this command and see how we can do that. So if you 
see this we are creating an external table so basically we are telling hive that we have an external table and it's called dynamodb features and the properties the dynamodb table name is features and then here is the mapping so the feature id of this table is mapped to the id of dynamodb table and the feature name of this table is mapped to the name table of dynamodb and so on so we have done this one-to-one -one mapping between this table and the dynamodb table now none of the tables have data right now not this dynamodb features table nor dynamodb table actually right right let's write some data into dynamodb table first of all before writing that we'll go to dynamodb console go to capacity and change the capacity to 20 and then click save and we are going to look at capacity in detail in the dynamodb section but this will just allow us to write data faster into dynamodb in a nutshell and keep in mind you delete the table once you are done otherwise you can see the cost over here and so is the case with your emr cluster if you want to delete it you can delete it otherwise it, it will keep breaking on charges so i'll go back to my terminal and now we are going to import data into dynamodb so i'm going to run this query where we are going to insert the data into DDB features basically we are writing a select statement in our hive features table the first table that we had created and then using the and then inserting the data into dynamodb features using the select query so just basic sql so it's running the map reduce client and a map reduce um, on your on our data and then transferring the data to dynamodb one row at a time so it's it's not complicated at all what's we're, what we're doing is just we created a table then we created another meta table and then now we're loading data into dynamodb so we can see the progress over here so if you go to items we can see already 49 items are inserted and 59 items so we have this id class elevation latitude longitude the name and the state so now items are being populated in this dynamo db table now we can query this table you could query this table directly using dynamo db uh, query apis which we are going to look at in detail in dynamo db uh, section but you can query this table using high as well how because we had created that metadata table or the let me show you that so we had already created the external table dynamodb features remember so we can query that table because we have mapped that table to the actual dynamodb table so while this is populating let me open another terminal ssh again to the master go to hive so while data is still being populated we can still run some queries already so we are going to run this query where we are going to find the distinct classes and see how many classes we have so this is actually querying the dynamodb table so we have this distinct classes like we have a bay beach cape falls forest in our data set so you can so this is actually querying the dynamodb table so we can run few more queries let's run another query and this is just like a sql so basically now you can run your sql So basically we are running a sql where feature class is lake and name starts with um, m so it's running its map reduce task behind the scene and we can see the data over here we have two lakes martin lake and moose lake and with the states we have the feature name where feature class is lake and feature name is like m 
begins with M. So this is how you can actually query your DynamoDB table using Hive. I mean, though you have APIs available to query your DynamoDB directly. So in this video, what we did is created a Hive table, loaded data into our Hive table, right? Initially, then we created a DynamoDB table. Then we an created another external table in Hive and mapped that table to our DynamoDB table. Then we loaded the data into the external table from our previous table. And then we started querying our external table because the external table was mapped to DynamoDB. The data got loaded into DynamoDB as well. While it may seem complicated, it's just like three or four st major steps. And once you run the steps, it will make more sense. And all the steps are provided to you in the next document. So in this video, overall, we saw how to load data into DynamoDB using Hive and then query DynamoDB using Hive. And make sure you terminate your table and your Hive cluster. Otherwise, you will keep incurring charges.